What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I absolutely love QQQY ETF, and it was a big passive income day for me. I'll reveal to you how much I made, and it's integrated within my dividend investing strategy for M1 Finance. So, you know, I can't really do options on M1 Finance. So these guys are kind of supplementing that so that I can turbocharge my dividend portfolio. And JEPY will probably be next in my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. The distribution of this is fantastic. And um, I really like it. Uh, it, for, um, it. It seems like it's a little bit better better than TSLY and a little bit more stable than TSLY. So I'm going to briefly go over it. We're going to go over the stock price, the uh, price of the ETF, and uh, I'm going to explain to you my rationales as to why I like it. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check this ETF out right now. So QQQY. Started off in January, it's it's a little up and down. It's down, looks like twelve cents start of the year, sitting at seventeen twenty five. It's doing pretty well um, overall. It's not going up too much. It's not going up too fast. Looks like it's at equilibrium. So I don't, and I'm not too worried about a reverse stock split like TSLY because look TSLY right here is eight dollars and sixty seven cents this is the defiance NASDAQ 100 enhanced options income ETF so I'm gonna go over them briefly so on their website QQQY aims to achieve consistent monthly yield distributions for investors coupled with the Equity market exposure to the NASDAQ 100. QQQY is an actively managed exchange traded fund that seats enhanced income constructed of treasuries and NASDAQ 100 index options. The strategy's objective is to generate outside monthly distributions by selling the option premium on a daily basis. The fund uses daily options to realize rapid time decay by selling in the money puts with ODTE. The fund's primary investment objective is to seek current income. The fund's secondary investment objective is to seek exposure to the performance of the NASDAQ 100 index, subject to a limit of potential investment gains. So right, right now they're at $17.15. Again, we need to look at the expense ratio. It's almost 1%, so just be aware of that. Another thing I want to bring up is an investment in the fund is not an investment in the index, nor is the fund an investment in a traditional passively managed index fund. The fund strategy will cap its potential gains if the index increases in value. The fund strategy is subject to all potential losses if the index loses value, which may not be offset by income received by the fund. The fund does not invest directly in the index. The fund does not invest directly in companies that compromise the index. So just be aware of that. So we're gonna go over a few things as well. So there's some positives right here. And this is why I probably need to add at least 100 shares on E-Trade and fund QQQY to get it bigger and stronger. So the distribution on 929 was $1.10. 10.31, it was $1. 11.30, 2023, that distribution uh, declaration date was 93 cents. Then in 12.27, it was 62 cents. And then in 131, 2024, it's 85 cents. So the reliability of the, the Defiance ETFs is a little bit better than TSLY. I still hold shares in TSLY, but I use the income 
of QQQY to fund my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, as I said before. So I'm going to jump to M1 Finance and reveal to you how many shares I own and what I plan on doing with QQY and how much I earned with QQQY. So right now, I'm at 73 shares and I'm a little bit, I'm down like 4.21%. That's not too bad. I'm not too concerned about that, but I'm at 73 shares and it was a pretty good month for QQQY's passive income. So I'm going to jump to how much I made. So I made $62.56 in QQQY, which bought me Runway Growth Finance Corp, a, a business development company I just bought, and it bought me shares of Invitation Homes. And the nice thing is I got 1.73 shares of that, and I'm really excited because, again, the strategy with QQQY, JEPY, TSLY, CONY, NVDY, and hopefully AMDY will be added on M1 Finance soon, that I'm going to use its income to turbocharge my dividend portfolio and use their income to buy dividend growth stocks. So it's going to get to the point where I can use their income and the dividend income to buy my dividend growth stocks. So I would love to buy Starbucks with the income of QQQY and all the other um, really solid uh, ETFs. And I'm telling you, I was moving the logs around and doing stuff with wood. I am exhausted doing this video. And um, I, I really had to reveal to you um, how much I made because it's important to be very transparent with my dividend investing strategy. Of course, you know, there's always a risk with investing in these ETFs, but if you play your cards right with them, like what I'm doing, things are looking pretty good. So I didn't have to put any money in my dividend portfolio to buy more shares of Invitation Homes. QQQY did. So that's what I'm using these option income ETFs to buy dividend growth stocks. I'm not going to rely on them for retiring. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so not miss future videos. Next Wednesday, I will have a video. Um, it's with work. I'm going to be visiting family and stuff. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to squeeze in shorts for those days. And I'm going to be a little bit more active on this channel. So literally Wednesday is when I start really preparing for boards and hiding. I'm not I'm not going to be going out until I pass boards. That's my plan. So that way I'll be on YouTube a little bit more active and um, go from there. So you take care and have a great Wednesday. And I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use this YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. This is strictly entertainment purposes only. Investing is a big risk. You can gain money, you can lose money. So just be aware and do your due diligence. So if you're investing in anything, whether it's real estate, stocks, ETFs, REITs, crypto, just be aware that there's a risk of losing money. You can gain money, you can lose money. So just be aware of that. Do not use this YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. It is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor or somebody certified to give financial advice. Do not use this YouTube channel for any form of tax advice as well. So it is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor or somebody certified to give financial advice. You guys take care and have a great Wednesday. And make sure you subscribe because I'm going to really start um, you know, uh, posting some um, shorts. And you can tell I'm pretty exhausted after moving around a lot of logs. And if you follow me on X, you'll see the photo of logs that I moved and, you know, going across uh, a whole yard, a big yard with uh, a wheelbarrow. That definitely wore me out. It was a good back workout. So take care and have a good one.